Thank you, Zahra. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Morning Barakah. In this episode, we're going to be discussing new recipes with Sana. Thank you for joining me, Sana. Thank you for having me, Fahima. So what do we have today? So we're going to be making a mojito. Wow. Yes. Okay. I never thought you would actually do something like that. I know. I mean, traditionally it's made obviously with alcohol, but uh, we're going to have the same uh, taste without the alcohol, which is probably better. Well, so, it's much healthier anyways. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So yeah. um, it's a drink I love. Uh, you can have it all year round. Um, and, you know, you can make it at home really quick and easy for yourself or friends and family if they're coming over. And I just thought it's something nice to kind of, uh, you know, do something refreshing. And uh, inshallah, you'll enjoy it when you get to taste yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's interesting that you've chosen this recipe, actually, because a lot of the times we only stick to our traditional. Exactly. So, you know, we have to blend our cultures and where we are and actually yes. make it our own and still enjoy the amazing ingredients that's in it. Exactly. And as you just mentioned, you've got, I can see the lime and the yes. lemons, which are really, really healthy for your heart, especially lime. Yes. Um, it also protects against kidney stones. So that's quite interesting that, you know, we can use these things to actually help our body systems throughout. Exactly. It's, and it's tasty at the same time, so you don't really know. I know. And I always talk about skin because I think it's really important. And, you know, you know, what you have inside you always comes out in your face, in your glow, yeah. in your eyes, in your hair, in your teeth, in your, you know, your nails. And all of these things are so important that you can see when you don't have a healthy diet. It shows, you know, not just on your body, but on your face. Exactly. And yes. it really helps with complexion, apparently. It brightens the skin. Yeah. So I'm all about, you know, health and nutrition in the mind and the body. So it's really important to be well balanced yeah. because when you're looking good and you're feeling good, then, you know, people around you have that same sort of vibration and they can sense your energy. Exactly. Yeah. And it's good you mentioned that because a lot of viewers probably don't realize the they actual benefits. They don't realize the benefits. Um, and we use it for so many things, mm -hmm. you know, not just for drinks, but in our foods yes, as well. Yes, especially yes. Exactly. So, you know, you can use it for a, a mm -hmm. variety of different things. So, I mean, right now what I'm going to put into here um, will be two lemons and two limes. And that would be for the jug? Yes, that's okay, right. Yes. So then, and when you're going to be uh, using the lemon, one sort of tip I would recommend if you are at home to mm -hmm. get the most juices out of your lemon and lime is to slightly heat it in the microwave for a few seconds when it's oh, soft. Okay, that's And when it's soft, then you can squeeze out most of the juices. Okay. And I do that because I religiously have lemon warm water with honey every morning and it's really good for your complexion. It's really good for your insides and detox and it's really healthy to get rid of excess fat. Yes. Yeah. And to even start the morning with warm water, it's always been recommended and a lot of studies have shown that. Exactly. Yeah, no, you're right. And, uh, you know, I do know some people who will have, like you said, warm water with some lemon before mm -hmm. half an hour before they've eaten anything. Yes. Normally, that's my first thing that I have every morning. I'll just boil the kettle yes. and just pour it out when it cools and I'll drink it like a normal drink and you know because I, it's too sour for some people and I exactly. prefer to have it a little bit sweet so I add some honey which is also good for you exactly so yes, I normally see. have that every morning and it, you know when you create habits like I help people even not just overcome and transform their mindsets but to also create new habits and a lot of the time, we don't have the urgency or we're just lazy and we're comfortable in the lifestyle that we live. Yeah. And then we realize, why are we feeling this way? Why don't we have that extra bounce in our step? And, you know, you can really do this by the actual food that, you know, comes out. Yes, very true, yes. And a lot of people don't, they kind of don't realize that. But like you're saying, it can really change our moods. Absolutely. Um, even the fragrance of certain foods, like if you can probably smell this, it's really it's, strong. It is. But it kind of makes you feel happy. It's refreshing, and yes. it's refreshing. Aromas are very important. Yes. Um, I know even peppermint, we're going to have, I think I've seen mint there, so I just yes. reminded, I know there's been studies to show that a few adults have been smelling uh, peppermint over a period of time, and it actually improved in their memory and in their brain it's function. Funny, so yeah. it's amazing, all these amazing fresh you know, ingredients that we use, but if we are aware of it and use it to our benefit, we can benefit ourselves in so many ways, especially for students that are studying, yes. or in your own courses, or you're at work and you feel lethargic. It actually boosts your immune system as well. Exactly. And it actually gives you that energy, that level that you need. Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes when we have cold and flu, most of us will go squeeze them and have a bit of honey. 
in there. And a lot of us will start feeling better, subhanAllah, like definitely. The, the miracle in, the, in, in just lemon and limes. Definitely. It's, you know, definitely. fascinating. But do try warming it up a little bit to soften yes. it. Yes. No, I And I do that for like maybe 30 seconds in the microwave, and okay. then it's just like literally, it just keeps it so nice, and you get most of the juices out from there, and much, much easier. Do you, do you slice it before you do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I slice it first, I All put right, it in the cup, okay. and then I just stick it in the microwave. Ooh, there you go. Just put it in my face. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't go in your eye because it will Exactly. <laughs> Don't try this at home. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, it's really, really you know, healthy and handy to sort of do it in that way is to get the most out of the actual exactly. lemon and lime. Exactly. You don't want to waste anything. And no. I really do um, enjoy the, the skin as well because that has so much benefits. So, you know, a lot of the time we kind of just take so out the juice. So what do you do with the skin? So I would put it with it like oh, as in... Oh, so then it, the actual, you know, it absorbs exactly the skin um okay exactly yes, and course. even if you see the inside bits of this yes if you take that out that's fine yeah yeah and the bits it. people don't like bits sometimes but yeah. you know what it actually is quite nice it is it's lovely yeah mm, that's very refreshing so I i've managed to squeeze all of that and i'm gonna now it's very good to relieve indigestion as well mint oh yes yeah and it really keeps oh a lot of the um <laughs> the seeds are inside. Well, we can take that well, out. We'll That's take that out. It's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, just pour it in. It's fine. You can always just... Normally at home, I would advise to take out the pits before or yes. normally when you have a or particular... Sieve yeah, sieve, sieve it. it out as well. And it's not a problem. Um, anyway, so I've, I have put that in there. I'm also going to put a, um, a cup of ice as well. Would you say that in the winter months, you know, um, having a drink like this with ice is okay? Would you give that to your children? Um, I wouldn't give it to my children if it's really cold, mm -hmm. but you know, if it's on the weekend and it's like during like lunch and yeah, it's, it's not, not bad, enough. it's not yeah, that cold. It's refreshing regardless. Exactly, it's refreshing. Yeah. You know, we give our children milk from the fridge, don't we? That's so true. That's a bit, you that's know, true. cool. So, you know, I don't think it's a big, a big issue, but obviously you will assess, you'll see, you know, if my daughter's got a cough or your son's mm -hmm. got a cough. Mm -hmm. You won't it? necessarily put the ice in exactly. there. Exactly. You, you can, can just have it like room temperature is fine. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So that's so all done. So you dilute it with? So now this has just got the ice water in there with the, le the lemon and the limes. Um, and also what we're going to put in here is the honey. Yes, exactly. So, so many benefits in honey. Yes. Amazing. We're going to put a tablespoon and a half. This is just to help with this, the natural sweetness. I, yes. And I think it's such a lovely combination to have the lemon lime and the honey. Because like I said, I have that every morning and it's delicious. Yes. It's and a lot of people would put sugar in their mojitos or anything like that and something like this you wouldn't need it you know you wouldn't no i mean i i really don't um like putting when i make lemonade mm, also yeah a lot of sugar could be added to it they put sugar, sugar in there exactly. i try to avoid that and mm -hmm. i will try and use honey instead yeah. so it's just kind of getting into that habit of, of substituting course. for a, a healthier choice absolutely um and you know what children they don't really notice the difference not at the beginning, and like we mentioned before, um, you can be quite smart in, um, I like to say tricking them, but you know, sort of like using what you can without their full knowledge, because they may not understand, and sometimes they just say no because they don't like the sound of, sound of something. Exactly. But if you were to just, you know, put it in a, in a, in a drink like that, they're having the honey, they're having the, you know, the limes and the lemons, because exactly. it's quite, you know, strong. Exactly. Not right. everybody will have that, especially kids. Yes, definitely. So this is nice. Um, so what I'm going to also add in here is the mint. So if you could pass oh, me yeah, the mint, course. please. Definitely. Thank you. Would you chop that or you have it just like that? No, I just, I, just I take the in. leaves off of the stem and I put it inside. And like the, the smell is just so... So well, that's the thing, wonderful. I was just talking about the aroma, it's so refreshing yes. and I know even if you were to have incense sticks, which is peppermint, it's really refreshing, it actually calms you, oh, yes. it's got so many soothing. benefits and it's very, very soothing. I mean, even if you were to just drink uh, some of the mint with just some hot water oh, before yeah. bed, Absolutely. which is really nice, it's soothing, it helps you sleep a lot Definitely. easier during the night Definitely. and even give it to your children. Yeah, no, of course. It's not a problem. They're, you can you take know. the leaves off so that they don't really realise, but they've still got, you know... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if you want to take remove the leaves, boil it for them. So put it on the mm. stove and slightly simmer the water with the mint. Okay. And then remove the mint and right. then put it into the so cups of them. you've still got all the exactly. nutrients from that. And if you want, with younger children, put a, a little bit of sugar because with children... Um, 
you don't want to put them off straight away with no, the first taste of something new. Yeah. So just even or if it's just the honey, a drop of honey or instead of the sugar. Yeah, yeah. If you want, if you want to put honey, mm -hmm. that's even better to be honest. But some children, depending on, they they, they don't always like honey. Oh, I love honey. the smell. It's just it it, really especially when you're breaking it, you can smell even exactly, more. Exactly. Yes. And it looks lovely actually, even <laughs> like that. If you rub someone to your hands. Yeah. And have a smell. I know. It's just. I don't. Even, so I'm literally standing a, a distance away from you, and I can get the aroma quite strong. It's lovely. And to be honest, we in Morocco we use a lot of mint. Yes, I know. And so the tea, I love the mint chai. <laughs> yes, we we use it a lot, and you know, it's kind of for me flashback mm -hmm. of to course, the home. markets yeah, and, and, and everything. Definitely. So it's wonderful. So I'm just going to give that a mix. You can also add mint whilst you're serving, oh. if you want. What do you mean? As in, put it into the glass, which I'll do in a moment when okay. I serve it. Put some fresh mint and then pour this on top. Okay, all right. So now what we're going to add is some soda water okay. into that. I just thought it was normal water, but no, it's soda not. Water. Okay. It wouldn't be a mojito. I, I, I know. I just realised. But you know what? Lucky I'm not making it. <laughs> exactly. Some people actually use Sprite, but we want to be oh, yes, healthier. Of course. Um, so yes, the fizzy drink. Exactly. Yes. So I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. Oh, nice. Oh. So Sprite as well is an option. They do, yeah. They can. But soda water. I I prefer not to use uh, sugary fizzy drinks just because yeah. of the amount of sugar. Of course. And I don't really like to use diet anymore because I've been hearing there's a lot of, um, you know, yeah, exactly. They use sweeteners in there, mm -hmm. and there's you know some kind of research Additives, saying that yeah, that's not necessarily it, that good for you. Exactly, and they they say sometimes it, it, there's a risk of actual cancer with certain sweeteners. Okay. So okay. I try to avoid it. Sure as much as possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna, if you have a smell. I can smell it, it's beautiful. It's, it's so refreshing. It's so nice and it actually smells like a mojito. Yes. <laughs> that is my favorite That's drink when aim. I go out, to be fair. <laughs> the virgin mojito <laughs> yes. is my favorite. And again, you can change it. You can add, make it into a strawberry mojito if you want. That's true. Um, so would you take, uh, what would you take out or would you just add the strawberries to it? Or? I would take the limes out. Oh, I right, would leave so it does, differ quite a lot with the ingredients a little bit because you want okay. with a strawberry mojito you want the taste of the strawberry to come through sure and sure. so with lime is a very mm -hmm. powerful kind of taste right your, your taste is it's quite strong yeah so you don't want it to overpower so all you would need to do is leave the mint and the lemon everything the same just put um some strawberries and you can get strawberry syrup oh. in shops just so put would a you little add bit that in there as well? i would add that and not add the honey because okay. i would use okay, that the syrup instead and swap that with the honey Okay, that's interesting. And the recent one, actually, you just made me remind myself, is that I've actually tasted the passion fruit mojito. Yes, they have many different ones. And I love ones. the passion fruit mojito. It's also so refreshing. And it's another fruit that we hardly, you know, take advantage of. Exactly. But it's it is. Yeah. You, you can experiment with so many different things. No. You know, like I always make my own version of things. There's no right or wrong way. No, of course. But this is lovely. Exactly. And also research. Go online, and you know, research different ways of making it. Oh, nice. Beautiful colour. Thank you. There you go. And if you want, leave it in the fridge, um, just so it can kind of fully absorb all the flavours. So you keep it for a while before you would serve normally? You could do. And okay. you know what? You could even make it the night before if you've got people coming over and you, you're not too fussed doing it on the same day. Do it the night before, leave it in the fridge. Okay, then let me just have a taste of this. Go ahead. Wow. It's quite, it's refreshing. It's really refreshing and you can really taste the soda water different to what normally I have is the, now I know, Sprite. <laughs> yes, and that's why it's a lot sweeter, mm. you would find with Sprite. But then again, you can add a bit more honey if you find that it's, you know, a bit sour. It's funny, like, um, as I was drinking that, I just remembered even our prophet, peace be upon him, and his family, used to recommend that when we drink water as well, we stand during the day and we sit during the night. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. you don't gulp it, you take three sips to sort of, you know, do it in stages. Yes. And actually research has shown that if you were to gulp any drink, it actually sort of damages the liver a bit. Yes. Whether or not, you know, that's been rated. But, you know, I mean, these things are so important so for us to enough. be aware and, you know, increase in our habits and obviously to teach that to our kids. Exactly, yeah. And when you're at home, I guess, when you make, you, like, again, something this you can make very, with very your, nice. your children, you. you can also add, like I said before, just the whole thing. It's not. And just put it in there. And just put it in, you know, make it your own. 
it's fine. It just makes it a lot more kind of vibrant. And I mean, there you go. You can just have it whenever Thank you want. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was a delicious drink. Really You're welcome. refreshing. Amazing ingredients, and thanks you, thank you once You're again. Very welcome it was Nima. really, really nice to thanks. learn how to finally make this, and I know exactly how to do it at home now. You're very welcome. And I hope that the viewers of watching um, had an amazing experience learning about how to do this drink. And inshallah, we will be back with more recipes on Morning Baraka, Health and Nutrition. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Over to Zahra and Ali.